back too. <laughs> anyway, take me there. Stop growling in my ears, please, sir. Paimon feels like a whole new Paimon after those two days in the hot springs. The abyss kind of threw a wrench in our Duh. relaxation, though. Just a little bit. Still, spending time here really has felt like a vacation. The Koholosaurs are so nice and so fun to play with. Their bellies are super bouncy. Aww. Oh, and Atea's snacks were so delicious. She gave Paimon some for the road just this morning, actually. What's she up to? Yelling at some kids who got caught oh, throwing stones in the hot springs. So, not much has changed since we first met her. True. Hi, Mulani. Hey, you guys. Sleep well last night? Yep. Ah. Yep. This area is so nice. <laughs> Glad you like it. I was thinking of taking you guys out to do some sea fishing. Sea Later tonight, fishing? Tonight, we can eat whatever we catch. Fresh fish is absolutely delicious right off the grill. Hey, Mulani! Tonina. Yeah? What oh, you aren't you the, the person from the the tournament with Kachina? The team sent out to fight in the Night Warden Wars has returned. Oh, shit. And Kachina? Is she back as well? Kachina fell in battle. Excuse me? But don't worry. The team was victorious, so the Rite of Resurrection will be held in the stadium soon. Ermage. Um... That's a relief. The Abyss is cunning, and it was her first time. Mistakes are bound to happen. How did she just take that so easily? Like, yeah, she died. She'll be back, don't worry. Hello? Uh, exactly. She deserves to hold her head up high. Alright, thanks for letting me know. We'll head out in a bit. Bro says, yeah, she fell in battle, but she's fine, don't worry. Okay, bro. Okay. Jeez, she sounded a little anxious there. Had me thinking it was bad news for a moment. Mulani, you said the Abyss was cunning just now, but it seems like the Abyss just wants to destroy everything. What did you know that we don't, Mulani? Like, think about all those monsters that attacked your tribe. If there really was some sort of cunning plan, wouldn't it make more sense to send them to attack Kachina and her small team? Um, not that Paimon wants them to be in any more danger, it's just... <laughs> Relax, I get it. The Abyss is difficult to understand, that's for sure. At a glance, it certainly seems like the only goal is total destruction. The Abyss isn't a living entity after all, so what capacity for logic or planning could it possibly possess? Yeah, that's what you think. But through our long history of fighting the Abyss, 500 years ago, the Abyss 500 years Tibet. ago. You know about that, right? Yep, during the age of Conria. That's right. Conria suffered greatly during that time. But so did every other nation in Tibet. And Natlan was the worst affected of all. It took the combined efforts of the then Pyro Archon and heroes from every tribe to finally repel the Abyss. Even so, the effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years, only able to be reversed little by little. Our tribe's waters were contaminated. The children of Echo's territory was overrun by dangerous sludge surging from underground. <laughs> Counter one. Unrelenting black winds tore across the lands of the Flower Feather Clan. It was like each disaster was designed for a specific tribe. So the Abyss understood the foundation of each tribe. Exactly. We once thought that the Abyss's desire for destruction was a sort of primal instinct. But its methods are, in truth, marked by intelligence. We now believe the Abyss has invaded the Night Kingdom. And has the capacity to read the memories of this land at any given moment. Well, that sounds great! And that's how it became so dangerous and cunning. Almost like it knows you inside and out. Because it does. Yes. If it can read the peasant for a unable future to fully present. eradicate it, even after all this time. Luckily, the problems left behind by the Abyss have been successfully addressed by the various Pyro Archons we've had over the years. Now every tribe is prospering and things are looking up. I mean, just look at what we managed to do a few days ago. We totally fought them off. In other nations, you've seen how much effort it takes to truly eradicate the Abyss. Yeah, like in Sumeru. The people of Natlan live in the shadow every day. Who knows how long it will take for this war to end? You must have had to sacrifice a it's lot centuries to get to this point. point. Every battle, every sacrifice is in pursuit of a future where we get to stop fighting. Responsibility, duty, unavoidable burden. Everyone in Natlan views the war differently, but I believe we will be rid of the Abyss one day. 
and the efforts of all who fought against them will become a story for the ages. To think that my name could survive in ballads passed down to future generations, it's kind of romantic. <laughs> Damn. Everyone has something that drives them forward, you know? You make me want to country kid. <laughs> Be my guest. Heroes are always welcome in Natlan. Anyway, let's head to the stadium. Our fishing trip can wait until Kachina's back with us. Yes, please. The sea's not going anywhere. Uh, black stone, a stone under a white stone. The herbage. Oh, uh, what if the sea does leave? What if, what if it is over? What if it is Jova, bro? Alu? Bro, they're all here except for Kachina. What the hell? Of course. No one's gonna miss out on the chance to welcome our heroes back from battle. <laughs> it's their moment of glory. Kachina's gonna be so flustered. She's never had this many mm -hmm. eyes on her before. I wonder how this is gonna work. Yeah, she doesn't seem like the kind of person who likes being the center of attention. Looks like I'm just in time. Hi, Kinich, my goat. Kinich, you're here! Yeah, a commission ran longer than expected, but I made it. I heard about the incident with your tribe, Mualani. Is everyone all right? Yeah, it's all taken care of. Our new friend here has got some tricks up her <laughs> sleeve, by the way. She's just as strong as Kachina made her out to be. I could have done better if only I'd been a bit more perceptive. Hey, look! Is it about to start? I don't know how we could have done any better, right. but... Someone will come out and recite a eulogy, and then we'll sing the Ode, Ode of Resurrection, Resurrection. together. Isn't that the literal name of the the uh, that appears in in the the trailer, the first trailer, Incandescent Ode of Resurrection? Come on, let's find a spot with a good view. When the singing starts, just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Let's go somewhere higher up so Kachina can spot us. Whoa, that's pretty high up. It's very high up, actually. Hello, old man. Warriors of Netland, heed the call of life. We are the inheritors of memory and legend. Those who grew alongside sun and wind. Those who forged our own destiny and future. That is Netland's fire, the lifeblood of our nation. I. She walked inside the fire. Whoa. Monka? <gasps> Shut up! It's a song from the... That's so cool! Where's the next part of the chorus? Oh. Ermich. Kachina? Machuk? <laughs> I could not find Kachina within the Night Kingdom or locate her ancient name. What do you mean by that? What? Ermich! Uh, what does that even mean? Usually, once the ode is complete, the Pyro Archon and resurrected person will emerge from the flames. But something went wrong. What's going on? This has never happened before. 
Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Oh, this. Clearly, the team sent to fight the Abyss didn't win after all. Oh my god, this bozo. Think about it. The Ode rekindles all victors. We witnessed it countless times. Since the Archon couldn't find Kachina in the Night Kingdom, that must mean there's more to this victory than meets the eye. Oh my god. Hey, you just haven't gotten over the fact that Kachina beat you in the pilgrimage. What are we? Pathetic. The both of you. Real, Kanich. Your wild guesses are misplaced. We completed our mission. Maybe you did. But who's to say whether that little girl even contributed at all? Maybe she got scared and ran off. Okay, buddy. Why would the Wyab recognize someone like her? Even if she was on the winning team. How dare you insult a hero of Natlan like that? Kachina sacrificed herself to repel the abyss. She doesn't deserve to be subjected to your vile face. rumors when she's not even here to defend herself. Calm down, Mulalani. There's no point arguing with the likes of them. I can't just sit here and let them slander her like that. Fuck him up. To insult a hero of Natlan, the person actually has to be a hero. Actually, yeah, shut up. You. You. Think about it, everyone. Who do you think is really at fault here? A girl who never should have even gone to war? Or the great Pyro Archon? Why would the rules of our nation suddenly stop working? I feel like she's gonna be pissed. <laughs> That's true. If she wasn't revived, it must mean she failed to achieve victory. Maybe the Wyab interpret victory in different ways? I mean, that girl didn't look all that strong to me. Okay, buddy. Pyrocon seems to be deep in thought. Why isn't she putting a stop to the commotion? Yeah. Kachina wouldn't have run! That's not like her at all! No! She's been waiting for this moment for too long. No matter how daunting the situation, no matter how scared she might feel, she's always the first person to stand up and face it head on. We don't even know what happened. So don't you dare try to use this as an excuse to vent your anger or slander her reputation. Fine. We'll find out what happens soon enough. Then... We'll see who truly deserves glory. Not, not you, Bozo. That's enough. Thank you. There is no doubt about today's victory or Kachina's part in it. She is a hero worthy of our admiration and celebration. However, the failure of today's ceremony is undeniable. Kachina has not been rekindled, and I offer you all my deepest apologies as I continue to investigate this matter. To prevent further casualties, I have decided to suspend the pilgrimage until this matter is resolved. What? No ah, Bozo. one is all-knowing. No one is infallible, not even myself. But doubt is a means by which we seek the truth, not a weapon we wield against others. I, I, I... Ah, Bozo. I, I didn't mean it that way, Archon. Idiot. I just... Sit down. If there are things you wish to clarify, then ask me directly. Doubt my answer if you wish. But now's your chance. You have concerns? State them. Go on. No, uh, of, of course not. Idiot. Even though I have said nothing to change your mind, then it would seem the truth never mattered to you at all. Real. You that tell him. That doesn't even have the courage to answer the Pyro Archon's question. So much for all that glory Giggle. talk earlier. Oh. I have a question, Archon. Uh-oh. My friend Kachina. Do you have any idea where she is? It's extremely important to me. I know you said you were investigating the situation, but I'm sorry, that's not enough. Ooh. I've already shared everything I know. If you want to learn the truth and rescue your friend sooner, you should join the investigation. So, what do you say? She's gonna say yes, of, of course. Of course I'll join. Yeah. In that case, come see me in the speaker's chamber. We should join them. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, could you drop by as well, Traveler? Ermage. I'd like to have a chat. Ermage. Rest assured, everyone, I'll keep the tribal chiefs informed on the progress of the investigation. We're usually the ones asking questions to the Archon, not the other way around. Hello? Once again, I apologize for the outcome of this ceremony. If there are no further questions, let's part for now. Um, did she just... Ask us to come along? <laughs> yep. I believe she did. Let's go. I'd like to know what's going on myself. Interesting. Hmm. Look 
at our, our little ragtag group of playable characters. <laughs> the situation is urgent, so I'll get straight to the point. Kachina is undoubtedly a hero of Natlan, and I'm deeply sorry this happened to her. There's been unrest in the Night Kingdom, but I don't know what's causing it. As a result, I've been unable to track down her location. Until we find and address the cause of the unrest, the Ode of Resurrection will continue to be ineffective. And that means Kachina won't be able to come back? That's correct. Not until the problem with the Night Kingdom is resolved. The music here, hello? How long will that take? It's hard to say. Kachina always dreamed of fighting the Abyss. Of doing her part to defend Natlan. She wasn't afraid of death because she knew if it came down to it, the Pyro Archon would be there to bring her back to life. Whenever we sat down together, exhausted from training, she would always hum the Ode of Resurrection. Aww. She was supposed to come back to us. We were supposed to hug her and celebrate with her and share her joy. We supported her every step of the way, but what are we supposed to do now? Sit peacefully and wait for her return? Damn, Molani. Lose ourselves in grief over her death? Tell me, are we her friends or her murderers? Damn. That's not fair, Lulani. It's all right. I understand your rage and your grief. Kachina's life means a great deal to me, Mualani. Believe me, I want to bring her back as soon as possible. I would give you that peace of mind if I could. But please, hear what I have to say so I can at least give you a broader picture of the issue we are now facing. Considering the recent attack on your tribe, I believe the Abyss has found a new means of undermining the rules of our nation. You mean... The Sacred Flame. The foundation of our resistance against Irmage. the Abyss. If we continue to hold the pilgrimage and send teams to fight the Abyss, there will likely be more casualties. But if we stop altogether, the Sacred Flame will only grow weaker. The Abyss will scale up their attacks, and the tragedy we saw with the people of the Springs will only be the first of many. If we compare the two choices, the former seems to be the lesser of two evils. Sorry, I know that may sound harsh, but I bear the name Malipo. Weighing the costs is my duty. Interesting. The raw truth can be cruel, but we need to understand it if we want to approach this rationally. But what would you say, Mualani? This is personal for you. And unlike Kanich, I dare say it's not a simple case of weighing up which course of action is less painful, is it? No. I can't choose between them, and I don't want to. Saying that one is preferable over the other is disrespectful to the people who suffered. Hmm. You're saying it doesn't matter whether I suspend the pilgrimage. The consequences will be equally painful. Yes. What happened to Kachina breaks my heart. But I couldn't bring myself to sacrifice other people for her sake. And that is the crux of the problem. It's not simply a matter of choosing the lesser of two evils. Either way, there will be people who suffer. And the end result will be the same. Belief in the pilgrimage will waver. Once doubt has crept in, the people will no longer unite in battle against the Abyss. And that is exactly what the Abyss wants. Their ultimate goal isn't to break the rules that make the Ode of Resurrection work. It's to destroy the people's faith in them. To prevent what happened to Kachina from happening to anyone else, we need to suspend the pilgrimage. So that is my current plan. And in the meantime, I've made efforts to strengthen each tribe's defenses. This is very interesting. Because while she looks very intimidating and very, like... She feels like an Archon, you know? We have Venti, who is just like a drunk little guy going around. We have Zhongli, who... We've never met him, and his power is an Archon. We've only met him as Zhongli, the consultant, which, as much as I love him, he's just a guy. Raiden was the last Archon we had that actually felt like an Archon and, like, inspired, like, fear, like, oh my god, here she comes. Uh, Nahida, little, she's just like a little guy. She was trapped and we had to rescue her. And Farina, while we did meet her as an Archon, even though she never really was, like a true Archon, 
uh, she never inspired like the, the that like sense of awe that you get from Ryan or from her and like in this case as well because she was like a little silly and goofy and she like yeah she has a okay I don't know yet if she has more aura than Raiden, simply because of that one cutscene in, in Azuma when we first meet her and she's taking away Toma's vision. That scene is aura, bro. Like, she is walking down from the top of the statue on steps made out of Electro. Until she's like face to face with us and then she pulls a sword out of her chest. In like a whole thing, I like that's aura. I don't think if uh, Mavika beats her that yet, as far as I've played. But Raiden and her, they're the two archons that feel like proper archons. Then we have to find another way of strengthening the sacred flame, and that makes me really happy. At bay. This I understand your anger, Mulalani, but I hope. That provided some clarity, at least. Wow. Hyman thought things were gonna get heated for a second, but the Pyro Archon took the time to explain everything so patiently. She's really nice. I owe you an apology, Archon. I let myself get carried away earlier, and I'm sorry. You're right. We need to focus on finding solutions. We could always hold the pilgrimage without sending a team to fight in the Night Warden Wars. That way, we would still be able to fuel the sacred flame. True, actually. I've considered that, but the two events have nearly always been linked. Oh. Without the chance to fight the Abyss, pilgrimage rankings lose their prestige, and competitor numbers will drop. With fewer participants, the amount of contending fire produced will decrease, and the vicious cycle will continue indefinitely. So, essentially, the Abyss has taken Kachina hostage. What? happens if you stay in the Night Kingdom for a long period of time. You've learned about the concept of ley lines during your travels, yes? Mm -hmm. The Night Kingdom is something similar. Staying there for a short period of time shouldn't have an effect on the person. But with the Abyss in the picture, it's a different story. Your sense of self will be devoured oh. until eventually you become one with the Sea of Souls. A sea of souls? Imagine pouring a cup of water into a rushing river. You can try to scoop up another cup, but there's no chance it will be the same water you had before. Oh. I won't sugarcoat it. That is the danger Kachina is currently facing. Just like you said, Archon. Both of these problems need to be addressed. You can focus all your efforts on dealing with the Sacred Flame. I will go search for Kachina. The Abyss poses the same threat to you as it does to her. It is very possible you will not return. Knowing that, do you still choose to go? Kachina's waiting for us to rescue her. That's all that matters. I failed to protect her during our campaign. But I can make it up to her now. I choose to go as well. Um, Traveler? What do you think? I promise she would have the chance to learn from me, so Understood. let's go rescue her. Yeah. And I'll support you in any way I can. The Masters of the Night Wind have a technique that can extract an oh. ancient name from the ley lines. If we can find Kachina's ancient name, I can use the link between them to pinpoint her position within the Night Kingdom. Well, we know then it. Then comes the hard part. You need to visit the Night Kingdom in person and rescue her. But isn't the Night Kingdom a land of souls? Can we even go there? Under normal circumstances, only the consciousness can enter. But there is a way to go there in person. However, know that the Night Kingdom will attempt to repel you, and the Abyss certainly won't leave you be. That's fine by me. Same here. Fighting the Abyss is nothing new for me. It won't be a problem. So, uh, Paimon's <laughs> the only one who's scared? Oh, well, Paimon. If you're going, Traveler, Paimon's going too. See, Lolly of the Masters of the Night Wind once Stally? created an artifact she that can be used to communicate with the Wyab. We call it the Spirit Speaker Stone. It was originally used as a ceremonial artifact wielded by the tribal chiefs. But that spiritual quality also means it can be used to search for an ancient name. That was the artifact I delivered to the Scions of the Canopy a few days ago. Didn't think I'd be hearing about it again so soon. 
Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Oh. Your thanks are unnecessary. I will offer you whatever aid I can, but your fellowship and courage are what will truly decide the success of this operation. <laughs> Besides, you're the ones helping me. I can only focus on one thing at a time, after all. Ugh, traveler, I certainly didn't expect the <laughs> first conversation to be so serious. I've heard all about your accomplishments. Ever oh. since you arrived, I've been hoping to meet you and offer Damn. you the highest level of hospitality. Wow, that's interesting. Um, why? Yeah. Why? Is that not what happened in the other nations you visited? Um, well, you know, uh, we kind of got accused of a crime in Liyue, we were wanted fugitives in Inazuma, um, we were hunted down by the Academia in Sumeru, we were put on trial in Fontaine and sent to prison, even though that wasn't really, like, a true, like, in prison, you know, it's uh, complicated. Yeah, things were pretty complicated at the start. And, you know, in the middle. But our reputation's <laughs> solid nowadays! <laughs> That's more like it. After all, I've heard you're someone who transcends fate. You know quite a lot about me, Mawiga. Perhaps even more than you can imagine. But we can talk what do you mean about by that? that some other time. What do you know that I don't, ma'am? Ideally, this would be the perfect night for a drink and some musical ambiance. But there are important things to be done. Oh, I almost forgot. Matea was wounded in the fight against the Abyss. She wanted us to give this to you. It embodies fond memories and my strength of will. That's what she asked us to tell you. She said you'd know what that means. <sighs> I didn't think this day would come so soon. The flames of her life force. I can feel them flowing within the talisman. <laughs> if things were different, the two of us could have enjoyed the hot springs together while she gave she this so to me in person. We're supposed to be hot spring buddies after all. Man. But don't worry. This talisman means a great deal to me. I'll take good care of it. And once this is all over, I'll pay Atea a visit. What are these two saying there? You said you didn't want to jeopardize the production of Contending Fire. But that's not at all why you decided to suspend the pilgrimage, is it? You're right. Even now, the production of Contending Fire is far from sufficient. The gradual corrosion caused by the Abyss has resulted in a massive shortage of pyro energy. And we're currently at the breaking point. Is that why we can't resonate with the pyro statue? Because it, there's like a blockage of pyro energy because of the abyss? Like the abyss is blocking the power and that's why we can resonate with it? As things stand, the pilgrimage is a lost cause. Suspending it allows us to save our strength to defend the tribes. The abyss has brought catastrophe to Natlan. And Kachina's disappearance in the Night Kingdom is a direct consequence of that. We can't let the general public know that. No. If the public learned that Natlan's destruction was close at hand, um. there would be immense panic. But if I said nothing at all, they would have continued to question the integrity of Natlan's heroes. Another simple choice. The latter was clearly the better solution. But you chose otherwise. I have never subscribed to the belief that the right choice is the one with the fewest sacrifices. Let's go. There's still a way for the sacred flame to last a little longer. Ermich. You mean? Yes. Come with me. What are you gonna do? You know. Tell me. Speak, please. Ermich. Um. The sacred flame must never go out. Not only does it strike fear in the abyss, but it's also the pillar of Natland's stability. So until our heroes are ready, I will sacrifice <laughs> my power to keep it burning. Hi, Rex. But that can only last so long. I think we should focus on the remaining ancient name bearers. Don't let desperation cloud your judgment. Those chosen by the Wyab have already embarked on their destined path. 
It is for them to decide how that journey ends, not us. All we can do is support them. Even so, for you to make this sacrifice, it's not right. What sacrifice? <laughs> if not me, then who? No other is capable of sustaining the sacred flame. What do you mean by that? I possess great strength, but I'm not above my people. This is part of my duty. Ermich, what are you gonna do? Oh shit, cutscene? Archon, it's the Fatui! Oh shit, wait. Oh shit, wait. Is this? Wait. Is this? It is! The Archon of Natlan. Hi, sir! A force to be reckoned with. The first of the Fatui the Harbingers! It's no secret to me. Long oh, shit. Been destined for oh. Can you just try to throw hands? And since the oath made five centuries ago remains unfulfilled. What oath? What, what oath? The gnosis in your hands. What oath? I don't know what you mean. But it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. Image. In times of crisis, someone must pick up the mantle of salvation. Your plan has reached an impasse. Um, and now it falls to me to create new rules for Natlan. But before the dawn of a new age, oh the shit, old must be destroyed. Um. <laughs> um. I assume that's the end of your speech. Oh shit. Good. People like us. Let our plates do the talking. <laughs> Brother, look at them! The music! Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dude. Whoa. Um. <laughs> Holy shit. She's just floating up there, bro. Oh. My god! Oh, goodbye, glasses. Holy shit, the music, bro. Dude. Wow. Um. Oh my god! Dude! That looks so cool! What am I watching? Is this Genshin? Black ice? Oh shit. Wow. Holy shit, bro. Oh my god, they're running away. Oh, Rebozo. <laughs> Oh seven. So it can beat an Archon. You might be the strongest for two eight. Fraud. <laughs> Listen. It's fair. Masters of the night wind. She's an Archon. Send word. The captain and his followers must be apprehended. Dude. Okay, hear me out. I caught. He's not a fraud. The Fatui are like Archon level. Yep, cinema. Peak. Are peak cutscene. Right, peak cinema. Peak everything. But I don't think he's a fraud, even though he is the strongest of Fatui. Because simply because he just faced an Archon. And the Harbingers are like Archon level strength. Allegedly. At least it's, well, allegedly. Yeah, Archons. Archons are literal gods. 
so I'm not surprised, but he did give her a run for her money. She was like gasping at the end of it. He was a formidable opponent. There you go. Exactly what I would expect from the first of the Fatui Harbingers. Oh, there we go. Argos are above gods, are they? I never imagined someone could match you in combat. If the Saritza sent him here, why would he bring up what happened five centuries ago? He mentioned something about an oath that remains unfulfilled. What? Okay. I might... I might be burning down the kitchen, but hear me out. He mentioned this oath that remains unfulfilled for, for the last 500 years, which means he was either there or he knows about it or he was around when the oath was made 500 years ago. If she said this is more about just the Saritza, which I, I agree with, he, that... This doesn't seem like this was just him trying to get the gnosis or something, because that's the only thing the Tracer wants at the end of the day. She just wants the gnosis. What if the theory going around that Capitano might be either a dragon or like a, a dragon of Natlan, or like maybe he's one of the sovereigns? I maybe he's a cryo sovereign because his eyes is black. I don't know. The same way Nivolet's like water is like shiny and special. He has black ice. He he has like dragon-ish claws. He has scales on his outfit. He doesn't show his face. Um I I I If the people of Natlan have been living together with the Saurians and the, the, the who are, that are dragons, actually just like small for the last 500 years ever since Conria what if he was there when it was made or maybe he knew about it when he was made because it was a, like a, a a pact made with the Pyro Sovereign that hasn't been fulfilled and he heard about it because he is like a cryo dragon maybe hope I don't know I, I think I already burned down the kitchen at this point but hey I'm gonna stick with it he wants uh, whatever is owed to him to the dragons maybe oh my god he kicked her so hard he impact framed that's actually crazy yeah and how much does he know about Natlan? A lot, apparently. The Harbingers are all driven by their own personal goals. The only purpose that unites them is collecting the Gnosis. Right. But I'm sure the captain has his own reasons for being here as well. Whatever his motive, we should shift our focus to the Fatui. If they attack again and we're not prepared, we're done for. No, we're running out of time. The wound I inflicted should hold him back and weaken him for the time being. Besides, I'm sure you noticed. The power that came to his rescue just now came from the masters of the Nightwind. Oh. In other words, there are traitors among us. Among us? Not necessarily. This could prove to be a very valuable turn of events. When we exchanged final blows, I sensed an unusual presence within him. Unusual? To further. Like a dragon, mayhaps? Kanich. Go to the Masters of the Nightwind and look into who could have aided the captain. Speak to Seat Lali. She should know. Of course. I'll head out right now. Do you still intend to... Yes. But fear not. Ermage. Natland's strength has never rested solely in its Archon. Whoa. Together we foresaw the only path that leads to our nation's future. We must trust in that vision now. Together? The Saurians? The dragons? Is everything okay, Archon? Alu? Ah, uh, completely fine. 
Just lamenting the fact that I never got a picture when I could still turn my hair into flames. <laughs> ah, too late now. What did you do? I just hope the others have a safe journey. What did she just do? Does she return, like, her authority to the flames? In the simple, like... The... Oh my god, that's the, the, the fight with the captain. Uh. What's happening at the stadium? Oh Did my god. Uh, oh, Pama, you don't know the half of it. It feels like the Archon unleashed her power. She must be fighting a formidable opponent. Oh, you guys have no idea. Should we go back and check what's going on? Kachin doesn't have much time. I'll have check that later, Wasabi. She wouldn't lose in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Once we find Kachina's ancient name, we'll head right back. Okay, let's just keep climbing. Emon really hopes nothing goes wrong. I was gonna say, the... The Kachina... Uh, not Kachina, the... Muffy could just return her, like, godhood to the flame, to the fire. Squall Fury. Uh, because, like, whatchamacallit, um, like, in a similar way to how, uh, Fossil will return it to Nuvalet. Is she able to just return it what to the fire? About the scions of the canopy. The tribes people are very adventurous. Oh, I've never been here actually. Oh, kind of like us then. <laughs> I'm not so sure. You don't strike me as the type to enjoy danger. Uh. The scions of the canopy are a bunch of thrill seekers. They love extreme sports like rock climbing, rappelling, volcano okay, parkour. Okay, no parkour. Or even bungee jumping without a rope while a Yunkasaur stands at the edge and uses its tongue to catch them. <laughs> Sound like something you'd be interested in? Um... That's Wyna, the tribal chief. Wyna. Let's head over to him. Okay. I'm just a guy. Jaska. Hi. Nice to see you again, Wyna. I'm afraid we don't have time for pleasantries. So I'll get right to it. We're here for the Spirit Speaker Stone. Whoa, hold on a second. At least tell me why you need it first. Ermich. My friend Kachina is trapped within the Night Kingdom. We need the stone to find her ancient name and rescue her. Rescue her? From the Night Kingdom? That's right. I'm sorry, but someone needs to tell you what you don't want to hear. Going there, a mature warrior would never make such a foolish decision. The nature of battle is unpredictable. You never know how it's going to end. Losing a friend is tragic, but when that happens, the best thing you can do is focus on how to prevent further casualties. I appreciate what you're trying to say, Chief Wyna. But if the price of maturity is abandoning a friend in need, I'll choose foolishness any day. Beast. If Kachina's still holding on, then so will I. I thought you might say that. <sighs> is something wrong, Wyna? This doesn't seem like you. Life isn't complete without taking risks. That's always been your mantra. <laughs> it's nothing. The Night Kingdom is a dangerous place. Can't blame me for checking if you were up to the task. If you're that determined, far be it from me to stop you. Here's the stone. Well, that was easy enough. If it's safe, okay? It's not like we have a spare. Thank you. Huh. Seems like you two go way back. But aren't you from the Flower Feather Clan, Chaska? Oh, Chaska's a peacekeeper, so she's famous throughout the tribes. She's always the one people call to resolve conflicts, so we slowly got to know each other that I way. I see. Her younger sister, Quichi, is always hanging around our tribe, too. She's helped us out a lot in the past. Oh, you have a younger sister? Yes. I'll introduce you to her sometime. Well, that's cute. But let's get back to business. Wayna, how do we use the stone? As you probably know, your intended destination is completely different from the real world. The Night Kingdom is like a river flowing with concepts. And the ancient name you seek is like a tiny fish swimming downstream. In that sense, the stone is like a fishing boat drifting down the river. 
but the boat alone isn't enough. You need a fisherman, experienced enough to steer it in the right direction. We couldn't do that ourselves? With a little practice, I'm sure you could. You have the strength and the talent. If you want to make sure this works, though, I could recommend someone to you. Oh? Who? Vichama, a legendary warrior and scout from our tribe. He's got a keen eye and a well-honed intuition. Even his ancient name means to seek. If you're fishing for a name, you're gonna want him on the boat. Vichama? Why does that name sound familiar? Does it? He's one of Auntie Atea's hot spring buddies. I've heard stories about him. Where can we find him? Ever since Malco passed, he spends most of his time gazing out at the scenery Aww. from the cliff tops. Follow the path that way, and I'm sure you'll find him. Thank you. We'll go look for him there. <sighs> Good luck. It does look like Uzo, actually. Well. You're not wrong. It's great value, Uzo, bro. Whoa. Is that it? Nope. Not you. Oh. That's him. Someone admiring the scenery from the cliff tops. Hello, sir. You oh, don't look like a playable character. In. You look cool, though. Hello there. Are you Vichana? That's me. Did you need something? Some of Kachina and the Spirit Speaker Stone. What? You're saying you can bring someone back from the Night Kingdom? How is that even possible? Well. No, if you really think about it, anything's possible in that kind of place. But that would mean. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. I'll help you, but I do have a small request. Oh? After I help you find Kachina's ancient name, I want to use the stone to look for my friends as well. Your friend? Oh, why not mention someone named Malco? Is that who you're talking about? What do we leave this for his partner? To be fair, the Taurus only showing up once. So, like... Yes, but I'd rather not get into it if it's all the same to you. That's not a problem. We agree to your request. Yeah. Since you're helping us find Kachina's ancient name, it's only right that we return the favor. Then we're agreed. Can I have a look at the stone? There you go. That's a really cool looking stone. Huh. I see. From what I can tell, it functions almost like an abyssal pylon. Once the connection is established, the abyss will come surging through the opening like a predator oh, honing in on the scent of blood. So we have to be sure not to use it in a tribal settlement. Wow, you got all that just from looking at it? I just picked up on the basics, really. I still have no idea why it works. You said someone named Seat Lolly invented this. They must be a genius. She invented it? I'll go find an open area and start setting things up. March 7th in invented meantime, it? I need you to get two things for me. We'll go right away. What do you Most need? Most coded in PC, really? First, I'll need some hook ropes. Pretty much every store around here carries them, so no need to go anywhere special. Oh, and I need to build a net out of them. Wait, are you saying you're going to use a real net to catch Kachina's ancient name? Um. How does that work when one's tangible and one's not? By creating something tangible in our world, like a net, we can create a connection to a corresponding concept in the Night Kingdom. Basically, I'm going to use the concept of a net to catch something equally intangible. An ancient name. Oh. Oh, I see. What about the second thing you needed? Right. I need one... No, two chunks of obsidian. Once we bring the ancient names into our world, we'll need a place to store them. Normally, you can only get obsidian from the Children of Echoes. But I heard there's a traveling merchant from that tribe around here somewhere. So, maybe you can try your luck there. Gotcha! Alright, let's split up. See that clearing? Let's meet over there when you're done. Okay. Oh, and you can send someone with me if you want. In case you're worried, I might take the stone for myself. Mm, what do you think, Chaska? I trust them. <laughs> There's no need. Lana spoke highly of you. That means you're trustworthy. <sighs> I appreciate it. 
even though that doesn't mean much to me anymore. Oh, well. Anyway, it'll take some time to set everything up, so no need to rush. I'll see you in a bit. Yoink. What an odd guy. He seems so defeated, but also really invested in the stone at the same time. I don't have any more insight than you, Paimon. Let's just focus on the preparations for now. Hang on, Kachina. Aww. Hello. Do you have any hook ropes for sale? Hook ropes? As in rock climbing equipment? Yes. How much for your whole stock? Oh. Oh, the whole thing? Oh, let me see. That would be 30,000 30, more in total. Deal? Deal. Oh, okay. Wait. Really? Um. What, you want me to drive down the price? We just need these as fast as possible. Thanks. Oh, uh, no problem at all. I'll even pass along some information on the house. These ropes are usually used by rock climbing enthusiasts. Uh, if you want to learn, Roke is the person you want to ask. All right. That's everything. Here you go. Now we need the obsidian. Let's go talk to the traveling merchant Bichama mentioned. What's bro doing? Hi, sir. Excuse me, do you sell obsidian? Why, yes. <laughs> I've got a chunk for sale right over there. Mm. Perfect. Is that the only one, though? We actually need two. Hmm. That might be tough. Uh, tell you what. Thank you so much. We'll wait here. Bros the big old <sighs> glass in his face. Relax. Everything's going according to plan. I know, it's just... I could tell Vichama feels the same way about his friend that I do about Kachina. I hope this chunk of obsidian isn't the only one. He wants to get his friend back too. Kachina always carries all sorts of shiny stones with her. If I was the one trapped in the Night Kingdom, she'd have a whole pile of obsidian ready in a heartbeat. Well, would you look at that? I <laughs> did bring an extra. <laughs> Here you go, young lady. How does it look? Perfect! Thank you. How much do I owe you? If you hadn't shown up, these stones would have just sat here collecting dust. Oh! I'll take 3,000 more of for both. Damn. Here you go. By the way, I heard you mention Bichama just now. How is he obsidian chipper than the ropes? Then? How's he doing? Malcolm's five been years. gone for five years now. Do you know what happened between them? I heard about it in passing while I was out drinking one night. But I don't know all the details. Michama and Malco grew up together. Oh. And even made a name for themselves together. Malco was an amazing fighter. Capable of knocking out multiple opponents in a single hit. While Michama excelled at scouting and analyzing the battlefield. The two made an excellent team, and managed to beat back the Abyss several times. Five years ago, they both emerged triumphant Five in the hundred years ago. and were placed on the same team to fight the Abyss. But on the eve of battle, the Abyss launched an attack on their tribe. Then what happened? The team agreed that he couldn't fight the Abyss in his condition. Bichama didn't argue. He knew going to the front lines with an injured leg would make him a burden in battle. It's just... Melko and the others ended up facing hordes of abyssal monsters in numbers that far exceeded anyone's expectations. The team made an error in judgment, mm. and they fell to the onslaught. Vichama went into a deep depression after that. He blames himself for everything. It really doesn't sound like it's his fault, bro. Oh, you're not wrong. He's just taking but the blame. It's possible he chooses to blame himself. Not because he did something wrong, but because he wasn't able to do anything at all. I've tried convincing him to move forward. To stop uh, dwelling on the past. But the shadow of Malko's death hangs over him still. The abyss has caused so much suffering. And some wounds never heal. I wish there was something he could do to make himself feel better. I think we're but, doing that right now, actually. Uh, anyway, that's the gist of it. Maybe you could help him talk things through sometime. Mayhaps. Uh... 
Well, it's time to go to the dirt cliff. Oh my god, thank god. Hi. Did you get everything? It's fine. I make my own path. Yep, it's all here. When do we start? I've made all the necessary adjustments, so we're good to go. As agreed, I'll help you find Kachina's ancient name, and then you return the favor. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. Are you seeking your friend's ancient name for the same reason as us, and that's why you asked for two pieces of obsidian? Uh, yep. After Malco fell, I scoured the battlefield to see what happened. It turned out he wasn't bested by some impossibly powerful foe. He was dragged to his grave by the sheer number of enemies. Mm -hmm. If I had been there, I would have been able to sense the danger. I could have warned them not to advance. I've always blamed myself for what happened. But when you told me about Kachina, I realized there's a chance Malco might also be alive, uh, fighting for survival in the Night Kingdom. It's been five years, though, buddy. But that happened several years ago, right? The Pyro Archon said all life within the Night Kingdom eventually becomes one with the Sea of Souls. There might not be much hope, but I still have to try. Malco and I promised each other, even if we never managed to root out the Abyss for good, we would fight together until the end. All right, let's get to it. I'll start searching for the conceptualized version of Kachina's ancient name. If you see any fragments scattered around the area, please collect them. Okay. Make sure you prepare yourselves for battle. Um. As I said, the stone will link the mortal realm to the night kingdom. The abyss will likely Armage. emerge in response. Look at that golden thing. Ooh. It must be one of those fragments Bichama mentioned. Let's get closer. Hmm. <sighs> Too slow. The wind rises. Not long. We're getting close. Yoink. Yoink. I Ermich. Yoink. 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 Ermage, are you okay? Oh, quick! The, the, take it. It looks like Kachina's little feather. <gasps> Got it. I found Kachina's ancient name. Hang in there, Malco. Just a little longer. Ermage, something's not right. The power of the abyss is getting stronger. Um. Um. The abyss is corroding his body. Vichama, you can't keep going. You'll die. I don't think he cares. I should have died five years ago. Yep. I just need a little more time. Please, I'm almost there. I'll buy you some time. I'll, you. I'll purify him as he is doing it, right? Yep. Oh, shit. Whoa, watch out. The power of the abyss is strong. <sighs> no, no, I'm stronger. Holy shit. <laughs> this power hanging in there? Uh, we're running out of time. No, <gasps> why can't I find him? Why? Ooh. We can't wait any longer. Pull him away from the stone, Muolani. I already tried, but the power of the abyss has him in a chokehold. It's like he's tied to the stone with an invisible rope. In that case, we have no choice. I'm sorry, Seed Molly. Oh, she's gonna destroy the stone. Get back. Wait, wouldn't wouldn't destroying it like 
be that's a cool bow wait whoa that's a cool bow I like her bow ouch what happened just now it looked like the spirit speaker stone was destroyed the stone's power was spiraling out of control the only way to stop it was to destroy it we were all caught in the shockwave of the explosion we might feel dizzy for a while but that's normal give us a heads up next time will you you're lucky we managed to dodge it in time i thought i said to get back um yeah barely a second before you made it go poof not everyone has your reflexes Chaska. we were this close to getting dragged into the explosion where's okay. the guy i'll be more careful next time at least kachina's ancient name is still in one piece wait where's vichama um vichama oh there he is <sighs> vichama i couldn't find nako's ancient name it must be completely gone by now yeah once your ancient name disappears there's no coming back from the very beginning i knew there was a slim chance but still and now <sighs> it's too late to save him from the minute he left that day, it was already too late. Damn. Vichama. I'm sure he's heard enough condolences over the years. Let's just give him some space. Yeah. Huh? What's that in your hands, Vichama? It looks like something's glowing. What is that? Huh? Uh, this is... Oh. What is that? Hey, Malko. Oh. Got any strength left? Not enough to swing a sword, but to say a few last words. Sure. <laughs> Too bad no one will get to hear them. I never thought I'd actually die on this mission. <laughs> Not that I'm afraid to die. It's just hard thinking about my mom's face when she hears the news. Yes, I have something to be thankful for then. My parents died a long time ago. They won't have to mourn me. <clears throat> They're both dying. Isak. <sighs> Always had to beat me at everything, didn't you? Right to the end, you were never one for goodbyes. He beat him as dying too. Maybe you're right. <sighs> Maybe no one will get to hear our last words. But just in case, Pichama, I'm so glad you didn't come with us. Uh, brother! Don't be sad. Just keep on living. For the both of us. <sighs> uh, thank you, Genshin, for bringing more depression to the table. And there it goes. Was that a memory? Seems like we were able to salvage something after all. Feeling any better? I don't think so. Of course. Seeing him, hearing his voice again, it makes me unbelievably happy. But it also brings with it an even deeper pain. A deeper pain? Why? Malko was always the type to put on a brave face. But in that memory just now, his hands were shaking. And his smile was forced. Really? For all these years, I regretted not being able to fight alongside him to the end. And now I know, at the end of his life, he was thinking the same thing. Vichama. I'm fine. Actually... I heard Chief Wino wasn't really on board with your plan to go to the Night Kingdom. When you asked for my help, I hesitated too. I knew helping you find your friend's ancient name meant leading you one step closer to danger. But I also understood why you had to try. Everyone has regrets in life, but not everyone gets the chance to make up for them. Once allowed to fester, guilt strips us of our most valuable qualities as warriors. In that sense... We might as well choose the braver path from the very beginning. You mean fighting will injure? 
No, a more courageous way? If I could do it all over again, I would have followed Malco to the front lines no matter what. But Even he says he with didn't... an injured leg, there were still things I could have done. He says he didn't want you there, though. That way... Even if the outcome stayed the same, I still would have fought alongside him to the end. Gage. There are critical junctures in life, and if you don't seize the chance to act, there's no going back. That's something I had to learn in hindsight. But you're still at the crossroads of your journey, so... I hope you can walk away without regrets. Thank you, Vichama. I feel even more determined now. Kachina will come back to us. I'll make sure of it. I promised I would find her, and I intend to keep that promise. Hell yeah. That's good to hear. <coughs> uh, Strange. He's gonna be corroded with the abyssy it's... too, isn't he? Once abyssal corrosion enters the body, a portion will fuse itself to your internal organs. Even though the traveler possesses powers of purification, the corrosion can never be fully eradicated. You idiot! Thanks to her, though. You are only briefly exposed. Slowing your breathing and controlling your emotions should help you keep the symptoms in check. Hey, Mario. Oopsie. Huh. There you go. That does make me feel better. You seem very knowledgeable about all this. Are you contaminated by the Abosi too, Chaska? Just speaking from experience. That's all. Yep, thank you for the answer. Anyway, we've recovered Kachina's ancient name, so we're off to a great start. Let's get Vichama back to his tribe and tell Wine of the good news. Oh, um, and apologize for destroying the Spirit Speaker Stone. We had no choice, though, so he'll probably understand. Mm, right? The right? <laughs> Aware. Mm. Who are you? <sighs> Kuichi, are you really going oh, yeah. to stand there like that? I don't know what you want from me. I think you know exactly what I'm trying to say, Uncle Wina. She I looks can really hear it cool. In your voice. Honestly, it's just one thing after another with you two. Huh. They're back. She's an NPC, but she looks like not like an NPC. Kuichi? What are you doing here? Is that your sister? <laughs> Don't play dumb with your own Oh my god, sister. it is. You know exactly why I'm here. She looks cool. My apologies, everyone. I just need to borrow Tasca for a few minutes. Um. You come with me. Oh, she's pissed. Someone's cooked. <sighs> I'll be just a moment. Who is that? Kuichi. Chaska's younger sister. Although the two aren't actually related by blood, it's kind of a long story. Uh, it feels like there's some more to the story. It's not really my story to tell, but I guess it's not a secret. You see, Chaska was actually oh. raised by cuckoo sores. Uh -huh. She was afflicted with a rare disease when she was a child and abandoned in the wild as a result. The abyss found her out there, all on her own, and tried to devour her. But in the end, all that did was trigger her will to live. That strength of will pushed her to survive. But it also planted a seed of conflict within her. Eventually, she was adopted by the cuckoo source. Wherever they went, she followed. Literally. Fights right and left. Bro, she was raised by... Okay, that's actually really cool. I like that. For some reason, Paimon can totally imagine that. <laughs> well... When Chaska finally returned to human society, it was Kuichi's parents who adopted her. At the time, Chaska still had a habit of getting into fights. So Kuichi was always taking <laughs> her around, apologizing to everyone. Ah, uh, I remember those days. One of those fights was uh. definitely with me. But, you know, kids, you're fighting one minute and your friends the next. Eventually, she found a way to rein in that desire to fight. Um. And now she's who people call to resolve conflicts. She's known as the Peacemaker. Maybe it has something to do with the disease he mentioned, or it's not a disease at all. She's just like a different, like, species or something. You know how Klee has a pointy ears, Janssen has pointy ears, she, like, Hoska has pointy ears, Nahida has pointy ears, Layla has pointy ears. 
I'm sure they're all like the same kind of like species. They're not like fully human. And maybe they thought she was like a freak or something. And that's why they're like, oh, she's like ill, just like dropped her off. You have pointy ears? Oh my god. It sounds like she still argues with Koichi though. Don't siblings usually stop fighting when they get older? Usually. <sighs> that's partly my fault. Koichi asked me to stop Chaska from doing anything dangerous, but you probably know by now, once Chaska makes up her mind, there's no changing it. Oh, I get it. No wonder you tried to talk us out of going to the Night Kingdom. Chaska even <laughs> said that wasn't like you. Yep. I'm all for your adventure. You need to take risks when you're young. So I would like it up there. You're my age, you couldn't attempt something like that even if you wanted to. Better try now than live with regrets later. That's what I say. Still, I can understand where Kuichi's coming from. In the end, nobody wants to sit back and let a loved one put their life on the line. Oh boy. All right. It's just the two of us now. You have one minute <laughs> to explain yourself. She is angry. I don't have anything to say. You don't have to approve, but you should know I only do what's necessary. That attitude is exactly the problem. It's like you don't care. You try to sneak off to the Night Kingdom behind my back and <laughs> then play it down as if it's just a trip abroad. Um, no. technically I am going abroad, right? I mean... <laughs> Again with the excuses! Oh my god. We agreed, didn't we? There are four levels of danger. If it's not something urgent, you can only engage in level two danger and below. You can only go up to level three if a situation is so dire, there's absolutely no alternative. Okay, but there, there was no alternative. But a trip to the Night Kingdom? If that's not a level four, I don't know what is. And you were just going to sneak into the place without saying anything. What do you mean, sneak into the place? I always planned on walking in there with my head held high. <laughs> oh my god, Chaska. You bought off Uncle Wyna, didn't you? He promised me he'd stop you from doing anything dangerous. Oh, it's like he didn't even try. Listen, if you listen why we're doing it, you'll understand. You feel like he went back on his word. What if I told you my mind was made up and there was nothing he could have done? Not even by force. Oh, I knew it. So he did try to say something, but you didn't listen. This is important. If you were in my shoes, you'd make the same decision. You don't know that. I'm a doctor, and I handle logistics. If you're going to waltz into a dangerous situation where you could lose control at any moment, it's my duty to say something. Lose control? What do you mean by that? All right, whatever. Anything else? <laughs> you... What do you mean, She's anything so else? Why don't you reflect on what you've done and promise me you'll stay put? Time out. Is this... One of our normal arguments or a serious Oh one? my god. Chaska, does it sound like I'm joking? Uh. Then... You need to know something. What happened to Kachina was partially my fault. I can't leave her there to die. What do you mean That's by that? That's not who I am. But the person you become when you lose control. That's also not who you are. Uh, I want to see her lose control. I want to see what that's about. That's a different issue. You said it yourself. Person is only as good as their morals. If I want to live in Natlan, I need to display qualities that make me worthy of this nation. What are you? I've also told you that managing your condition is equally important. What if she's the dragon? No, well, that has slightly pointy ears. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. <sighs> All right, let's stop this here. If we keep going, I might actually have to get serious. And I think Wyna prefers his roof attached to his house. Oh my god, I want to see that. Is that a threat? That sounds like a threat to me. Uh, Koichi! Uh, younger sisters are supposed to listen to their elders. Uh, so, you're really going to go, no matter what I say? I'm supposed to be your sister. Then support me. I'll be back. All you have to do is wait. Ugh. Chaska. So, that's it. Why'd you have to turn out to be so darn annoying? Damn. She's pissed. Uh, 
you two are something else. Something you wanted to say? I know you aren't related by blood, but you two sure are similar. Really? You know, I said that very thing to Kuichi not too long ago, and she reacted the exact same way, down to the very tone of voice. Oh! It's not my place to get involved, but I will say this. Try to spend a little more time with your sister. You're tough kids, but that doesn't mean you have to go it alone. Thank you. Anytime. All right. If you're done with the spirit speaker stone, you might as well hand it over. Yeah, about that. According to Kinich, it's an important ceremonial artifact, so it'd be safer to keep it with me. Yeah, about that. There's something you might need to know. Um, about that. <sighs> if only Tone Gifbard was here, he could have repaired it just like the Holy Liar. Of a dimension? It might be in a few more pieces than you remember. Uh huh? Duh. Armage. Ooh, yikes. I see. Mm. Sounds like it was an urgent situation. If someone's life was on the line, then you had no choice. Still, Seat Lale's going to be a nightmare to deal with now that you've broken her stuff. I'll explain everything to her later. Stay safe out there in the Night Kingdom, okay? I'll wait here for your safe return. Yippee, whoa. Where am I going? Behold. Oh, we're just over here. Oh, sick. I need to come back and explore this place. It's so icy up Hierarchulus. It's so cool. Hi. Now, what care to explain we what you did ancient name too. Uh, before? What happened at the stadium, ma'am? Well, it's fairly complicated. Let me give you the condensed version. <laughs> no. Ermich. Yeah, what was the sacrifice? Again? We can't go anywhere without them causing trouble. Real. But what if the Fatui finds out you've lost your power? Won't they try to take advantage of the situation? Okay, so she did lose her power fully. <laughs> That's why it has to be our little secret. No one else can know, or we're asking for trouble. So Look, she's I a normal wish human I could now, offer you basically. Some sort of consolation, but I won't lie to you. With multiple factions closing in, there's nothing comforting about the situation we're facing. Still, all you need to do is focus on your goal. You can leave the complicated matters to me. I can also step in on the Pyro Archon's behalf. There's a limit to what I can accomplish, but I'll help you however I can. She's so cute. <laughs> There's no need to be so modest, Ian san Your incredible strength has long been a well-known fact. You're the pride of your tribe. Oh, there's more about her. Archon, I... I'm sorry about before. You have so much on your plate. So much that you have to worry about. But all I could do was focus on my own feelings. You have nothing to be sorry about. We all get overwhelmed by our emotions, myself included. Your reaction to Kachina's disappearance, I... I understand that feeling very well. Well, now that we have Kachina's ancient name, let's go track her down. Follow me. Where are we going? That fire looks insane. This place looks cool. It looks like it has things from like what every tribe. What is this place? Hey, isn't that a Taya's talisman? Oh yeah. <laughs> Good eye. This is where I store all the various mementos oh, I've collected. That's a lot of things. Wow. I've never seen this place before. There's so many things in here. It looks Can like there are him? items from every tribe. Collecting them must have taken a lot of effort. And time. I suppose you could think of it as a hobby of sorts. In Natlan, everyone grows up listening to the stories of heroes, and physical items do a far better job of preserving those stories than our own memory. <sighs> now, I still have some preparations to make for the ceremony. 
so feel free to take a look around in the meantime. If you're curious about an item, I'm more than willing to tell you about its oh. origins. There's two right, hours left? Holy shit. Hey, there's a fishing rod here. It must have belonged to the people of the springs. That's right. It belongs to a legendary fisherman named Matavaru. I have his entire oh set my God. of fishing equipment, actually. He and I met in a tavern. He told me about a particular kind of giant fish and his meticulous plan to catch it. In his eyes, I saw a hunger and a strong fighting spirit. So, did he do it? The next time I saw him, he was covered in scars. Oh. It turned out the fish he sought had been corroded by the abyss. He managed to kill the fish, but sustained a serious injury in the process, which Damn. meant he could never go deep sea fishing again. Can a fisherman claim victory if he fails to bring back his catch? That's what he asked me in the end. Well, Paimon thinks he won. Me that too. That was my answer as well. The experience was far more valuable than the prize itself. In the end, he didn't want his tools to go to waste, so he gave them to me. Wait, that means you also know how to fish. <laughs> oh my god, true. Maybe we can go head to head sometime. I really like her, like, a lot. This is Atea's talisman. I'm sure you're familiar with this one already. Mm -hmm. Atea was rarely ever without it. Ooh, this looks pretty. There are so many jars and potions around here. Do they have anything to do with alchemy? No, those belong to the masters of the Nightwind. Their ceremonial tools used to amplify the ability to communicate with the Night Kingdom and the Wyab. Yamaya is an expert in this field, and she taught me a lot. Even though she appears stoic and serious, she Yamaya. actually has a keen sense of humor. The tools you see here are quite traditional. The contents of the jars aren't all that special. Oh, uh, except the big jar in the middle. That's what she really wanted to give me. Ooh, must be something really cool. What's inside? Oh my god, Paimon. Grape juice. Oh. Huh? Okay. <laughs> it's quite tasty, although probably expired by now. Oh my god. But I love she's, like, standing next to her, actually. It was really cool. Whoa, that belt is bigger than Paimon's head! <laughs> the Collective of Plenty are known for their bodybuilding competitions oh my and God. contests of strength. The association with strength might also have been the reason the original belt was extremely heavy. And even if a warrior had the strength to put it on, wearing it for any length of time would still leave them gasping for breath. Sounds like it. So the owner of the original belt, Katera, commissioned a craftsman to make a copy identical in appearance, but far lighter in weight. He would often wear this version when training in order to protect his waist. Or he made a lighter version so he could wear it all the time and show it off. Right. I mean, hey, maybe. Who knows? Make sure to handle everything with care. Yes, Janssen. This flower looks like it's thriving. You must be good at taking care of plants, Arkan. Hmm. This fishing basket looks familiar. Oh? The powder still needs some time to settle. So let's wait a little longer. Well, what do you think of my collection? Yeah, if each item represents a different story, seems like Natlan's really been through a lot. <gasps> oh, it's weapon. Does every item hold a special memory, just like Atea's talisman? That's right. The items in my collection actually serve a similar purpose to the ancient names oh. passed down among the tribes. They demonstrate the true shape of time. The shape of time? Most people perceive time as a linear concept, almost like a straight line that can only move forward. But there's also a different theory, one that I believe to be closer to the truth. Namely, that the past, present, and future all exist at once. This opens a whole lot of possibilities, holy shit. At once? Paimon's not sure she understands. Uh, let's 
say your journey ended right now. Thinking back on your experience in each nation, which one would you say was the most important? I would say Sumeru, but yeah, all of them, I guess. Exactly. Even at the end of your journey, the things you experienced along the way don't cease to exist. Take out a portion of that journey, and you would likely make very different True. decisions. And eventually arrive at a very different destination. The future is the same way. It exists even though it has yet to come to pass. Of course, there are those with the power to foresee the future. They simply call it by a different name. Uh -huh. Fate. You're quite familiar with that concept, I would imagine. Very interesting, actually. The future already exists and is pre-written. We just lack the ability to see it. And those that do see it call it fate. That is very interesting. Uh, that does kind of make sense. Humanity excels at living in the present. But too often, we forget the past, while the pilgrimage and the Night Warden Wars lead us to a better future. Only by uniting the people of Natlan across countless eras can we fight back against an enemy as formidable as the Abyss to come up with such a set of rules. <laughs> Eight. The first Pyro Archon must have possessed a level of insight I can only imagine. So the first Pyro Archon created the rules of Natlan. That's correct. Oh. At first, he was a mortal he. man with no special power. After he ascended to the Divine Throne, he used it to borrow power from the heavens and establish the rules of Natlan. Ronova? Isn't the heavens like Celestia and all them? Who is Ronova? Namely, a framework through which ordinary people can ascend to Archonhood. Oh. By holding the pilgrimage, we're able to determine the strongest among us. And when that person ascends to the Divine Throne, their inner flame will awaken. In addition, the Sacred Flame will grant them significant knowledge and memory of this land. After all, that's how I came to know everything I just told you. Okay, that makes more sense how normal people just become Archons. So, it all comes down to the power of the Divine Throne and the rules. Yeah. Wait, is that a family portrait? Oh, look at it. <gasps> Tell me that's young Movika. <laughs> yes. <gasps> that's my mother, look at father, her. younger sister, and the little Saurians we raised. Wait, that's so cute. Wait, I want that. Wait, that's so cute. Look at it. Aww. I turned a piece of my dad's leather armor into a canvas and commissioned a famous artist to paint our likeness. Your sister is so cute! It looks like the two of you are really close. That's so cute. Paimon was having a hard time thinking of an Archon as an ordinary person, but seeing this portrait, it kind of makes sense now. It really doesn't look like there was anything special about you before. Um... Oh, wait, is Paimon allowed to say that? That sounds really bad. A little late for that question, don't you think? Hermage. <laughs> it's all right. I'd never get upset over something like that. No matter what others may say, my past is a precious part of my identity. I'm forever proud of the life I used to lead. Becoming the Archon doesn't mean you sever ties with your family. The position just comes with a lot of responsibilities, so it impacts how often you get to see them. My father made the most delicious stew, so my sister would often bring me a large pot of his cooking, and we would sit on a blanket and eat it together. One time, we didn't close the door securely, and the Saurians you were raising ran into the room and knocked over the entire pot. My sister immediately burst into tears. The two troublemakers were going for the meat, but when they saw my sister's distress, they froze on the spot. Oopsie. She reminds me of Yui Mia, a little bit. I still remember the way they laid there, sulking like a pair of children, even after making such a mess. It was frustrating, but in the end, all I could do was comfort my sister and move on. Wow. You forgive him just like that? <laughs> Isn't that what being a family is all about? <laughs> yeah. I think about that story a lot, actually. As the Archon, I made a vow to defend this nation. 
and experiences like that, they remind me exactly what I'm trying to protect. Well, what happened after that? This portrait looks pretty old. Your sister must be all grown up by now, right? And this is where she tells us they're all dead, right? I believe she ended up working as an architect and artist. Oh, maybe not. She built many houses and crafted many beautiful works of art. How long ago was this perchance? And, um... Did she happen to move to Sumeru by any chance? Anyway, that's enough about me. And this her name Varka. Settled, we can begin. Whoa. Iansan, Mulani, Chaska. Over here, please. Place the ancient name up there, and then we'll begin. Oh boy. This is a cool, like, visual. Place. <clears throat> Surely, as the echoes of life resound through heaven and earth, so too shall our stories remain eternal. Ancient name, take us to your fated bearer. Allow her to answer our call. Potion? <gasps> Vegina! Uh, Hi! Am I hallucinating again? No. Vegina, are you okay? Huh? I, I'm not seeing things, am I? Is... Oh. Is the abyss playing tricks on me again? It's okay, Kachina. It's just us. We're trying to find a way to bring you back. Everyone, you have to listen to me. I've been investigating the Night Kingdom this entire time, and I figured out what's wrong. Oh. The Wyab is being affected by the abyss. I was waiting for the Wyab to send me back, but then this really strong monster came in and almost killed me. The Wyab saved me. Even though its power is weakening, so I've been hiding from the monsters while trying to find a way to help. The Night Kingdom has become a huge mess, though. I keep hearing these awful sounds. Oh, she's just a little guy. Horrible things. Don't listen to those sounds, Kachina. The Abyss is trying to strip you of your sanity. All you need to do is stay safe and wait for us. We'll be there shortly. It's okay. I feel so much better now that I've had the chance to talk to you guys. You don't need to worry about me. I've never been strong or special at all, really. So I don't blame anyone for forgetting about me or leaving me behind. Oh, that's so sad. What Just the hell, man? Care is more than enough. I'll find a way back. You don't have to put yourselves in danger to come rescue me. You're always like this, Kachina. Now's not the time to act tough. We're coming for you, and that's final. I don't know what lies the Abyss has been feeding you, but I'll tell you something right now. Nobody here sees you as a burden. Yeah, you would tell her, Molani. You're a victor of the Night Warden Wars. A hero of Natlan. All you need to do is wait for us to rescue you. And you'll get all the applause and recognition you deserve. I... Man. I'm really scared. Everything's so dark and creepy here. We're gonna get you back, don't worry, cutie. I don't want you to put yourselves in danger because of me. I don't want to hold anyone back ever again. Man. All you need to do is place your trust in us. Just like you always have. No one fights alone. We're not leaving you behind. Not ever. Yeah, we're so close, we can't call it quits now. Be careful. Oh no. Be careful. Looks like we've lost contact. Now comes the most dangerous part. You this entrance to the Night Kingdom was left behind after an abyssal invasion. Even a brief amount of time inside could expose you to corrosion. I know. I'm prepared for that possibility. All right. Then I wish you all the best. I'll tell Koichi to be ready just in case. She's very experienced in dealing with abyssal corruption. Is she now? That face you just made. Don't tell me you two got into another argument. Ermage. No, I just... Feel bad for creating more work for her. I'll go with them too, Archon. The more people, the stronger the party. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. It really means a lot that you're willing to brave these dangers with me. And there's no time to lose, so let's get going. 
Now that I've lost my power, I won't be able to provide much practical support. But I can still keep an eye on the situation from here. Eon-san, I know it's unlikely, but if you encounter a situation you can't handle... That won't happen. Hell yeah. I hope not. Oh my god, I thought it was Mabuika for a second there because Wander was hiding behind her. Oh my god. Be careful out there. I'll observe the situation from here. Okay. Here we go. Surely everything is gonna be fine. Probably not. Well, I'm so sorry. Did not mean to. Hi, little Hillichar. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I don't want to hit you. Off we go. Hold on. <gasps> it worked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It actually gave me something. Oh my god. You, you want That's crazy. I love Mr. Hilly Churl. Goodbye, Mr. Hilly Churl. Hello. Well, that, that reminds me of the chasm thingy. So this is Night Kingdom, So huh? we're underneath Natland right now? It looks nothing like Paimon was imagining. I thought it would look more abyssal. That's because in the distant past, Natlin was home to an incredibly advanced civilization ruled by dragons. Oh. Humans only established their own society after the fall of the dragons. So these are Saurian ruins? I don't think... Yeah, I think she means actual literal dragons. Wait! You mean like the elemental sovereigns? They had their own advanced civilization? Bro, it would be so cool to see. Yes, a really long time ago. Very few records have survived until now, so no one really knows what the devices here are for. These ruins have been abandoned for a long time, but with the recent increase in Abyss activity, the installations around here have somehow been activated again. So what you're saying is... Nope. We're not in for an easy trip to the Night Kingdom. Nope. <laughs> no. It's going to be obstacle after obstacle from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they all so happy about it? It's just what I wanted to hear. Okay. Um, why are you all laughing like that? It's creeping Paimon out. Uh, yeah, me too, Paimon. It's the pre-adventure excitement kicking in. No, right, my god. Guys? They're all psychos. Of course. I'm eager to get started. Actual psychopaths. Then let's go. We won't let anything stand in our way. Yeah, thing in my eye. Squall Fury. This place looks really cool. Okay. Seems like the road ends here. How should we get across? Like this. As a professional trainer, I think you could stand to build up your endurance, Paimon. Professional oh. trainer? Paimon thought you were a warrior from the Collective of Plenty. Well, that goes without saying. But I actually work as a sports coach. I provide professional oh. guidance for many of Natland's popular sports. And I don't just mean physical training. I design nutrition plans as well. Oh, oh. Yeah, so basically no sugar, no soft drinks, no grilled meat. Yeah, yeah, we'll be here oh all day if you list them out one by one. It's much faster to just focus on what's good for you. Such a... Those uh, guys look familiar. Uh, hi, You've puppies. Before. Let's go. Oh. Show no mercy. Okay, Jing Yuan. Hi. Check this out. <laughs> Everybody stand back. We'll see about that. Have fun with this gift. The wind rises. No, you'll die. Upon the gale. This is so cool looking, man. I can't take pictures. God damn it. Whoa. 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 The place we need to go seems really high up. Bro, it's so like. Uh, 
polluted. Wait, I want to look back. Hold on. Oh, hello. Wait, hold on. Let me. Behold. Yeah, look at all that. That looks like the what's inside the chasm. The uh, the abyss, the abyssy thing. Don't get too close. Oh hi! I got you covered. Go in. Time for pizza toy. Squawn fury. Where's for now? Oh. Oh my god, it's a dragon's face. That's so cool. Whoa. Well, that's cool as shit. This place is really cool. Open your. Well, that's a bussy, if I've ever seen any. Check this out! Let's light it up! Wind rises. Upon the gale. Know your place! Sit down. That looks really cool, man. Open your door. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. This is the final stretch. We just oh. need to climb up and we'll be there. Nothing to it. Easy for you to say. <laughs> Where is Kachina? This place looks cool. This must be the entrance the Pyro Archon told us about. The one ripped open by the Abyss. Yes. There's something in the depths of this place that feels familiar, yet also foreign. Ermich. We actually have to go in there? Uh. Okay, Paimon just needs to psych herself up. Don't push her through before she's ready. This mug look. She's giving Paimon. Erm. Are we in? Oh, we're in, all right. Hey! You don't have to drag Paimon! You're pulling too hard! Oh my god. Sorry, Paimon. Looks like we made it. This is the Night Kingdom. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. It looks so different from what I imagined in the stories. <laughs> There's abyssal energy everywhere, that bro. That overflow of energy is probably what trapped Kachina here in the first place. From this point forward, everything we know about the real world no longer applies. Anything can happen here. Paimon's more worried about how we're gonna make it out. We obviously can't go back the way we came. Nope. Do you see that patch of light on the ground? Oh. It's shining down from that fissure in the sky. Oh, yeah. Right in front of us. So that's coming from up there? Oh, it's so high up. Did we really fall that far down? Did we? Just like I said, our real world knowledge doesn't apply here. We fell all this way, yet came out completely unscathed. If this was the real world, we'd have to climb our way back up to the entrance. But here, all we have to do is stand underneath the light and offer a prayer. Th that's it? Uh. <laughs> Don't try now. Right, right. We still got a job to do. Yep. So that means all we need to do is find Kachina and bring her to this location. Exactly. This light is streaming in from the real world. It's a link between the two realms. Hmm. The terrain looks difficult to navigate, and the visibility is not great either. Yeah. These floating black things don't look super friendly either. Nope. Those are all manifestations of abyssal power. Be careful. Uh, and you are? Ghost! A talking ghost! A g -g 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 ghost! 
Calm down. I'm here to help. Oh. You're the ones who helped feed Chama, right? It's his friend, isn't oh, yes. it? Oh my god. I was completely lost to this realm until I sensed a mysterious power calling out to me. Uh, brother. It's like it was seeking me out, attempting to reassemble the pieces of who I used to be. Uh, can only do so that's much. horrible. I'm sorry I can only appear before you in this imperfect form. No, we should be the ones apologizing. If the Spirit Speaker Stone hadn't become corrupted by the Abyss, we could have done much more, but we had to destroy it. Otherwise, Bichama and his tribe would have been in danger. Of course. Uh, Thank man. You for protecting him. I never imagined that even after all these years, he'd still take such a risk for me. Under the power of the stone, it felt like our souls were connected. Turns out even our regrets were exactly the same. Whether in triumph or death, you want your best friend by your side. Exactly. That may not be in the cards for us, but it's not too late for you. You're looking for a young girl from the Children of Echoes, right? Yep. She's being chased by an embodiment of a um. power. I'd like to help her while I'm still in this form, so follow me. Be yes, careful. sir. This place has been severely corroded by the Abyss. Simon didn't realize it had gotten this bad. It's like a seething volcano ready to engulf our world at any moment. So is this just what the Abyss? Quick, get back here. You can't go wandering off. What the abyss looks like? Stick close to me. My power will to ward off attacks from the time being. Hold on. One sec. One, one, one sec. Thank you. We won't be able to keep this up. Let's try uh -oh. the route. This way. Ermage. Ermage. This is this looks just like the the thing at the bottom of the castle, bro. Where we fought those two. Uh, not good. Oh, more monsters. We shouldn't waste our time on them. Don't worry, I won't be wasting any time. See, they're gone. No time wasted here. Ding dong. I wish we could take pictures here. God damn it. Oh, Paimon can't see anything. It's easy to get lost here. Just stick close. I will. Whoa. Um, Ermich. Well, that's not good. Hello, abussy ghosts. Did, did you hear that? Uh. What? Never mind. It was probably just my imagination. Don't scare Paimon like that. I heard it too. It was a voice from the abyss. Ermich. Ah! What did it say? It doesn't matter. It certainly doesn't harbor good intentions. Nope. Let's just leave. That sounds like the the one lecture we always fight. Let's keep going. The hydro one. The one we fought in Sumeru a couple times. <gasps> Kachina. Ermage. Hi, Kachina. Uh oh. Oh, is she hallucinating them? Uh oh. Um. Oh, she's running away. Uh oh, she tripped. Um. We're here, Kachina. Oh my God, she pooky. You made it. Don't worry. Looks like our reunion will have to wait until we take care of these monsters. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Let's go. Oh boy. Don't worry, I got you. 
Let's light it up! Unsight the insects! Pew. Squall and fury! Good night. Good night. You're here! You're finally here! Oh, look you at so her! Much. That monster can appear from anywhere! It almost caught me a bunch of times. The Wyab's power helped keep me hidden, so I just tried to stay out of sight until you got here. Had a girl. You did so well. And most importantly, you weren't hurt. Should we start heading back then? Oh, yes, please. Actually, I have a request. I the Wyab. can't exactly put it into words, but something's wrong with the Ode of Resurrection. And I know it has something to do with the contamination from the Abyss. That was the Pyro Archon's theory as well. Everything we've seen here certainly seems to back it up. In the Night Kingdom, there are six main totem poles representing the Wyab of each tribe. Uh-huh. You can think of them like the body of each Wyab. Additional totem poles, like the ones around here, serve as proxies to which the Wyab can extend their consciousness. There are countless proxies scattered around the Night Kingdom. Through them, the Wyab can extend their consciousness over the entire realm. And, but if a proxy were to become severely contaminated, then a soul could become lost within the Night Kingdom. Now what happened to Kachina? Judging by the current situation, I don't think we're dealing with just one contaminated proxy. No. Even if we could drive back the Abyssal power from one of them, that probably wouldn't even put a dent in the problem. Still, we can't just leave the Wyab to suffer. It's protected me this whole time. Saving one is better than saving none at all. Yep, you're right. I agree. We might even manage to draw out the monster that's been hunting Kachina. Getting rid of the monster might slow down the deterioration of the Night Kingdom. True. Uh, <laughs> Kachina? What's wrong? N nothing. Just a headache. And that voice again, telling me yeah. to abandon the Wyab and leave this place. Let's see a bus. Maybe we really should leave. Katina's already been here for too long. No, I I'm fine. I don't plan on listening to that nonsense. I can hold on. Where's your totem pole? Just up ahead. I'll lead the way. Listen to me, Kachina. We'll come with you. But that's because we want to help the Y up. You don't have anything to prove either. It's okay if you reach your limit. All right. The sooner we get this done, the better. We've already Bet. come all this way. So we might as well try to get to the bottom of this. True. Let's go. I'll stay here and try to stall the Abyss monster. All by Thank yourself? you, Malako. That's too dangerous. It's all right. I may not be as strong as that monster, but I'm definitely more familiar with the area. I don't have much time left. If you're anything like my friend, I'm sure you're not particularly fond of goodbyes. Oh, boy. So go. Achieve your goal. And return to the world where you belong. Thank you for everything. You're a true hero. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's sweet. No one fights alone. Oh man. Reunion. Oh. Whoa. Does your head still hurt? Let me help you walk. I'm fine. I'm fine. You should know I'm made of stronger stuff than that. Whoa. Those look way more solid than the others. The echo is really cool here. I'm missing this the Wyab. Here. Wyab? Wyab! I'm back! My friends and I are here to heal you. Wyab, can you hear me? <sighs> Ooh. Agent of Night's Will. So we were right. The contamination is already too severe. Alright, get ready everyone. Time to purge the abyssal energy from this place. Hell yeah. Uh oh. Careful. We've got company. Uh, of course it's you. Already? You really think that pure soul could slow me down? Courage in the face of futility is pure folly. You well, tried to get in my way, so I disposed of him. You're about to become you, trash. You killed Malcolm? Bitch. He would have dispersed with or without me. Rather than worrying about him. I would urge you to focus on yourself. You may have defeated others of my kind in the past, but underestimate me now, and it will be to your peril. I don't think he's the one behind all of this. No, 
Yeah. The power of the abyss is intoxicating. The destruction it seeks captivates like a masterful work of art. I thought this naive little girl was an exception, but it turns out humanity is full of lambs willing to offer themselves up to the slaughter. Uh, that's what you think. That is the tragedy of your short lives. You understand nothing of all encompassing power. Uh, that's what you think. Ancient names, pride, friendship, all empty ideas invented to give you a false sense of self worth. The Pyro Archon created those grandiose ideals out of pure selfishness. No, you're just lying. Anything to avoid sharing power. Anything to avoid handing over the primordial gift to ordinary people like you. What primordial gift? Don't believe me? Then ask yourself, why is the Pyro Archon strong beyond measure while you, Kachina, remain so pathetic? Weak. Um, I don't know. Maybe because she has a gnosis and the power which contains part of the dragon's power, you know, handed down from Celestia themselves, you know, maybe that has a little bit to do with that. Just just a thought. I just a thought. Kachina. Give me your hand. Feel that? I'm right here next to you. Oh. Thanks, Moalani. You're right. Because I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> You're right. Maybe comforting ideals don't have any power. But you also couldn't be more wrong. You've never had to work for your own strength. So you will never understand the true source true. of our power. What? The courage we what? have to stand before you and not back down. It comes from our friendship. The power lies not in the ideal itself. But in our commitment to upholding that ideal, and in our decision to stand together and fight! Well said! <laughs> oh my god, Paimon. Power of friendship. Let's go, Kachina. It shouldn't take more than two of us to handle an enemy like this. Sorry in advance, but you... Why are you apologizing you to this what's idiot? You deserve to you! Real. There aren't many in Natlan who can beat us when we're together. It's time he got a taste of that kind of power. Hell yeah. Oh my god, we only have these two. Um... Right here! Clear the area! Let's shred, Sharky! Awesome, let's ride! Bam. Bam. Bam! Whoa! Off we go! Right here! Hit the thing. Hit it. Thank you. Shut up. Idiot. Idiot. We won. We actually won. Mm-hmm. Nice job. He wasn't stronger than the ones we fought in the past. Rip Bozo, idiot, get That's fucked. That's what he gets for underestimating you two. Fantastic work, Kachina. Absolutely fantastic. Aww. This makes me so unbelievably happy. Oh, that's happy. so sweet. I'm happy too, Moalani. Together, we really are unstoppable. <laughs> huh? What's happening? Ooh. What is that? My ancient name is... Oh. Moen. But I thought I didn't bring it with me. It's probably a projection from the real world. But that doesn't explain why it's glowing all of a sudden. Wait, does that mean you're... She's... She's what now? That was a bold move. Diving headfirst into the fire to save your friend. Especially in a place so Who are overrun you? with abyssal corruption. Hi, sir. Still, seeing you pull it off. Was really Just in time. Something. Um. Everything you said was exactly right. As isolated individuals, we stand no chance against the power You're big. of the abyss. It took years worth of scars, and lots of unnecessary suffering for me. Who to are you? Understand that for myself. 
Who is this VA? The Pyro Archon's plan will unite us. This is really one. cool. Everyone has a part to play. Oh, it's Jiraiya? Only no then way. Will we have the power to defeat the strongest of foes? Who are you? Who are you? Tupac, a warrior from the people of the springs. I fought against the abyss during the invasion 500 years ago. Is this where that's from, Rex? Is this from? Is this what you and Wasabi have been chanting for the last like two days? Is this where this is from? Is it from a game? Why is his name Tupac? Who thought that was a good idea? Oh my god. I've heard that name before. He is you dead. Were the who saved all of Natland. Oh. Since you were able to awaken my words from your ancient name, that means you have fully embodied the aspirations of the Wyo. What does that mean? Under the name Umoja, you shall unite the tribes and save Natland from its impending doom. Excuse me? I think I'm... Uh, I'll watch that when I'm done, Wasabi. Me? Is that her ancient name? As long as blood still runs through your veins. Even the tiniest spark of steel against stone can ignite a flame. Its blaze will become one with our vision for Natlan, even amid everlasting darkness. You're big. Our bonds remain eternal. Oh my god, <laughs> no way. Yo, <laughs> okay. That's kind of cool. That's actually really sick. I like that a lot. Whoa. What's wrong, Malalani? Oh, so many memories. My brain was just flooded with everything he once knew. Oh, is that what Mavuika was talking about? Like the, the her ancient flame igniting? So that's what happened. What do you mean? Did you just figure something out? 500 years ago, they foresaw the very crisis we're facing now. Oh. Efforts to save Natland started all the way back then. We can go over the details once we get back. We shouldn't linger here longer than we have to. Does this mean you know about this whole thing? I know bits and pieces. Um. But I had no idea Mualani was also part of the plan. Oh, so you knew. This sounds like something that's going to need a lot of explaining. Yes. Let's focus on saving the Wyatt first. 500 years ago, counter four. That's not that bad. Only four times in like, what, seven hours? Why is- oh, you're sucking- they're pouring in their energy and we're sucking out the abussy. Okay, cool. Crazy how the fact that we can cleanse stuff came back okay, four years later. Why up? Why up? Can you hear me? I hear your voice, Ooh. Kachina. My dear child. Great. Well then, well, I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you were okay before we leave, but we can't afford to stay here any longer. Not bad for now. I was going to um. ask why you bestowed an ancient name upon someone like me, but it's okay. I'll keep searching within myself for the answer. I'll never stop trying to improve my strength. Oh. One day, I'll live up to the hero you saw in me. She's so you cute. You are already an outstanding child in my eyes, Kachina. No matter what happens. Huh? You are all my most beloved children. It has always been my honor to protect and nurture you. Your ancient name is just that. A name. Much like your parents chose to name you Kachina, I also gave you a name, but it need not define you. Oh. Focus on who you want to be. You are already worthy of your name. Now, you need only devote yourself to becoming a better you. The story of your ancient name is for you to continue. Just like your parents, my love for you will never change. 
no matter what the future holds. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Wyab. It gladdens me to see the Pyro Archon's plan move another step towards completion. But it is time for you to leave this place. The situation here is getting worse. Uh. Go now, my children. Save Matlan on behalf of all you hold dear. I know we've never met before, Wyab, but I just wanted to say thank you for encouraging Kachina. It was exactly what she needed to hear. Oh. Uh oh. Whoa, what's going on? An earthquake? We're out of time. I gotta leave. It's the power of the abyss. Quick, oh. we need to run. Um, that looks really bad. Oh, that looks horrible. Sealy <gasps> opened the way for us. Sealy or here now? Excuse me? Uh. Ermich. Um, 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 um. Why? 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 Um. The opening in the sky! It's closing! We Is need it? to hurry! Or we'll oh shit. Here. I have no stamina! I can't sprint anymore! Oh my god, move! Move! Oh my god. Watch out for the falling rocks! Quick, Ugh. through the middle! They should have given this like infinite stamina for this or something, bro. Oh shit. Bro, Paimon's. Ooh. Sorry? <gasps> Perth of Rancor is not dope late anymore. Upgrade! Whoa. He cuts in number three. <gasps> oh shit. Yum! Okay, what now? <laughs> Um... Do you know what that is? Yeah. It's Mabuika! Right? 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 Oh, hell yeah, brother! You've done well. Now come home. You have your power back? Wait, where are we? We're like just beneath the stadium. <gasps> we're back. She brought us back. The Pyro Archon saved us. She did. She has her but power back. She's not here. How does she? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't she say she used it all up? She's still in the speaker's chamber. What we saw in the Night Kingdom was just her consciousness. So you're saying her consciousness did all that? Okay, so she, she still doesn't have her power. power. Comes at a price. I don't like that. <coughs> you must feel terrible, Kachina. Just hold on. We'll get you to a doctor soon. Let's get back to the stadium. The Pyro Archon said she'd have a doctor waiting for us. I recommend getting a full checkup, just to make sure no damage gets left behind. Paimon? Paimon feels okay. What about you, Traveler? I'm fine. <laughs> right. You always seem to do pretty well against the Abyss. Yeah, I, I know why we do it. Why are you okay, though? Really? <laughs> how, how, Zach? Let's get going. We need to share what we learned in the Night Kingdom as well. Right. The Wyatt mentioned something about the Pyro Archon's plan. What is it exactly? I'll let her explain everything. We're all a part of the plan now. 
every move we make from here on out will decide Natlin's ultimate fate. No pressure or anything, huh? The Great Escape. Oh, Mabuika, please don't be dead. Let me in. Squeeze me. Huh. There's a lot less stuff here than before. Where's all your stuff? It's good to see you all here in one piece. Where'd all your stuff go? I know you must have a lot of questions, but let Koichi check you over first. It's best not to let any lingering effects of the Abyss go untreated. Thank goodness you made it back. I came here as soon as the Pyro Archon told me about your plan. Take a seat, everybody. I'll examine you one by one. It's probably the short and I like, can all on the others all have some degree of abyssal correction. Oh. Or contamination. The harmful effects will not be permanent. Thank god. Oh, yippee. All right. You're caught That's up in Sumeru? For now. Okay. But just to be safe, I'll That's good. another checkup in a couple of days. Because Sumeru and Fontaine are both, like, extremely good stories. I have to say, though, I've never seen anyone react to the Abyss like you, um. It's like you're completely immune to its power. Um. <laughs> She's always been special like that. She can even purify its power. Wait, now that you mention it, Paimon doesn't think she's affected either. Yeah, why are you fine? Given the current situation, that ability will likely play a great role in the events to come. Of course. I still have patience to see, so I'll head out. Thank you, Koichi. All right, all right. We might not see eye to eye, but we both had good intentions. Just give it time. I'm sure we'll figure things out between us one day. Yeah. Oh. Erm. All right. There's so much to discuss, I don't even know where to begin. You've seen it for yourselves now. The devastation yeah. in the Night Kingdom. I'll get straight to the point. Natlan is on the verge of destruction. It's very <sighs> possible our nation has less than a year before total devastation. That's not great. Huh? No. Less than a year is crazy. That's right. But I've only ever disclosed that fact to the handful of people working with me to save this nation. Our looming destruction is not a recent development, Classic but the inevitable of conclusion of the disaster the Abyss initiated 500 years ago. Contra number five. Mulani told us a little bit about that. 500 years ago, number all six. the nations of Tabak oh were invaded by the Abyss. Unlike the other nations, Natlan never had stable and deep-rooted ley lines, oh. so we suffered the worst of the invasion. I wonder why. The battle against the Abyss was exceedingly long and brutal. In the end, victory came at the cost of our civilization and countless lives. Even then, it took centuries of solving the disasters caused by the Abyss to finally achieve the peace we know today. Centuries? So like, you know... 500 years-ish, give or take. And still, this is but a superficial victory. The forces of the Abyss have merely been driven back underground. Their threat to Natlan remains as real as ever. I... I'd never have guessed. The problems plaguing the Night Kingdom are all the more complicated because that realm is essentially functioning as Natlan's ley lines. Oh. Immediately after the war, our calculations estimated that we would have a maximum of 500 years before the Night Kingdom was completely lost to the Abyss. Number seven. But at that time, we were a nation of the destitute. Our people no longer believed in victory, nor did they hold hope for the future. Our civilization was dying, our faith crumbling, and the line of power passed down from the Wyab nearly severed. If we didn't bring the nation back together, it would be foolish to even dream of defeating the Abyss in the future. So, the Archon had a long and involved discussion with the heroes of each tribe, and finally came up with a 500-year-long plan <laughs> to save Natlan. It's so funny. So that's what happened. After finding Kachina, I encountered a strange figure who gave me a series of new memories. Since the plan was mentioned in those memories, I guess I've been chosen to play an important role in it, but there's still something I don't understand. 
Those memories showed me the pyro archive Those memories, back then. So dark. And it was you. Ah, huh, interesting. Huh? But that doesn't make any sense. The pyro archon is supposed to be human. It's impossible for a human to live that long. <laughs> That's what you think. That's right. The hardest thing for humans to overcome has always been time. Or rather, the natural limitations of our lifespan. A god can extend a human's life by using a certain amount of divine power, or subjecting them to a curse. Okay, chop chop, Nivola. Time to make Rio immortal. Chop chop. But, as we all know, Natlan doesn't have gods like that. We can only rely on our own methods. You... Don't? A human life is like a flame destined to be extinguished. 500 years ago, I placed my life within the sacred flame. Number nine. Counter number nine. Only by dying before my time could I have the chance to wake up again. So, in other words, this is your second life? It was all part of the plan? Yes. We only managed to defeat the Abyss all those years ago because the tribes came together as one. So she is like a phoenix. If the Natlan of the future was to have a fighting chance, the Pyro Archons that came after the war had to rebuild the decimated tribes. The goal was to reunite the people and restore the strength of each tribe's Wyab. Once a tribe was back to its full strength, the tribe's Wyab would select a hero, indicating the tribe was once again ready for war. Molani. The Chosen would then stand by my side in defense of our nation, just like great heroes of old 500 years ago. <laughs> Number 10. So that means I'm one of the Chosen? You are. That's right. You bear the ancient name Umoja, the same one held by the hero from your tribe 500 years ago. Oh. It means unity. Oh, Number 11, by the way. After your adventure in the Night Kingdom, I trust you've come to fully understand the meaning of that name. So, in other words, you always knew who the Wyab were going to pick from each tribe? Yes. According to the plan, each tribe was supposed to have been fully restored by the time I awoke. But something went wrong along the way. Lord Drop incoming? I'm guessing as soon as they click this, it's gonna be Lord Drop. The six heroes successfully inherited the ancient names from 500 years ago. Twelve. But the intel regarding the plan wasn't passed on to them. Once again, it comes down to the deterioration of the Night Kingdom. Communication between the Sacred Flame and the Wyab has been blocked. Just like how the Ode of Resurrection failed to bring Kachina back. Exactly. It's just another tactic the Abyss is using against us. The Abyss may not possess intelligence, but its methods certainly aren't easy to counter. If we want to unblock that information from being passed on, my presence alone isn't enough. The ancient name bearer must establish a greater connection to their name. Which is what Molani just said. So, I've tried my best to help them from the sidelines. Currently, oh. Shalonin of the Children of Echoes, Kinich of the Scions of the Canopy, and Iansan of the Collective of Plenty have all been acknowledged by their names. Rex, Shilo mentioned? Yep, there he is. <laughs> also, Kinich. My goat. Kinich and Jansen. Okay, so this is a collective of Plenty's icon. This is Mualani's. During your adventure, you too earned the acknowledgement of your Wyab Mualani. Mm -hmm. In the process, you gained the memories stored within your name. So we're missing two. She's one of the six heroes are canonically OP based. True. I will be pulling for her, I believe. She's really cool. I really like her design. But we have less than a year! Yes, but we have no choice. We cannot start the plan until all the heroes have been gathered. Mm. That's also why I haven't been able to take action despite the urgency of the situation. But if you knew this whole time, why didn't you just tell me about my role in all this? Wouldn't that make everything go a lot faster? Well, not really. Perhaps, but the opposite could also be true. Yeah. Knowing your destiny too early could mean failing to realize your full potential. Oh, true, Rex. Oh, I'm, actually, I'm really excited for that. I feel like it might be Chaska, Loki. For one of the two that's missing. I feel like one of them is going to be Chaska. 
Just like your determination to save Kachina, I hope your commitment to this endeavor comes from your own strength of will, rather than a sense of obligation. So I suppose you're not going to tell us who the final two heroes are then? That's right. Their time is yet to come. Putting pressure on them beforehand will only hinder their development. I can only trust in the judgment of the Wyab. I have never believed I could solve this crisis alone. In fact, it was precisely because I chose to trust and rely on others that we managed to get this far. Natland's salvation lies not in its Archon or any singular individual, but in us all. Does that mean... You're quite perceptive, aren't you? I thought I might get away with avoiding the topic. Huh? Oh, right! All of the stuff you stored here before, where did it all go? Even though I sacrificed my power, I still needed a contingency plan to ensure you would make it back from the Night Kingdom. After all, I was the one who allowed you to take that risk, and Mualani has an important role to play in my plan. In addition to their sentimental value, the items I stored here held a much more Fuel. important purpose. Fuel? Oh, so back then, that's why you... Yes. The stories embodied by those items are certainly important, but there's an even more significant trait they all share. Oh. Every item belonged to a hero of Natlan. Over time, they became imbued with a certain amount of contending fire from being carried in battle. On their own, each item's power is limited. But together, their combined mm. effect can prove quite useful in a dire situation. Interesting. By burning those items, I was able to activate the contending fire stored within them to open the boundary between the two worlds. It was a rather crude approach, so all their power was depleted in an instant, as you can see. Yeah. Wait, aren't they all precious treasures? What about their stories? <sighs> That's exactly why I dragged you all here. No matter what, I never wanted the Pyro Archon to have to use that power. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you, Wasabi. You have nothing to be sorry for. You all deserve my thanks, actually. If you <laughs> hadn't saved the totem pole, that area of the Night Kingdom would have been forever lost to the Abyss. And then, it would only be a matter of time before the Children of Echoes was met with disaster. Besides, when those heroes entrusted their belongings to me, or the Pyro Archon of their time, it was out of a desire to contribute to Natlan's survival. If they knew those items helped save the present-day heroes of Natlan, they would not mourn their loss. True, I guess. Even if you put it that way, I still feel bad. <laughs> There's no need. Remember what I told you about time? The people and the events of the past are never truly lost to us. We if you still have regrets, let them fuel your resolve in the battles to come. Your deeds will become new legends and nurture new forms of power just like the items once stored here. Well, we'd still like to return the favor. <laughs> well, if that's the case, just oh treat me to a drink sometime. Now that Kachina has returned, we can finally hold the victory feast and celebrate your team's triumph oh, yeah. in the Night Warden Wars. And we could all use the rest, that's for sure. Plus, you'll be able to silence everyone who doubted you once True. and for all, Kachina. Fitty. Still, now that I know the danger we're facing, having a victory feast doesn't feel right. Try not to let it get to you. It's important to stay calm. All right. You should head out. I'll join you in a bit. Hmm. Oh. Mail. I got mail. What is this? What the fuck? <sighs> when I was young, I used to sit by the hot springs and listen to the stories of warriors from all over Natlan. <sighs> they attract people from all walks of life. 
Friends come easy here, no matter what tribe you're from. The people of Damn. the springs have never claimed the hot springs as their own private property. They are there to bring all hot spring buddies together. It's been really nice seeing the children of my tribe get older. It's helped me gradually understand the true value of the springs. I've witnessed their energy, their determination, their absolute passion for life. Uh, even when they cause trouble, <laughs> I never manage to hold on to my anger for long. It's unbelievable how quickly they worm their way back into my good graces. I'm certain Mualani will become a great warrior when she grows up. One day, when I'm no longer in fighting form, I'll come here and tell stories to all the children, just like those warriors did for me. What is this, so, bro? You better get busy, Pyro Archon, or I'll end up running out of stories. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Oh, a new path. Angie. This looks so pretty, bro. Our nation is engulfed in darkness. That was so Our loud. tribes stand divided, and yet you promise victory in the distant future. It's not just an interesting name. The Abyss is a cunning enemy. One that I faced in battle many times. One of the main Were cities not in... The case, I would never understand exercising this degree of caution. Uh, I think one of, if not the main city in Maya culture, was called Tenochtitlan. So that's interesting. My rage will never know absolution. And my power will no longer aid you in victory. But you came to me because you knew you could convince me with just a single sentence. I understand your choice. The heroes of today will forge the path ahead with blood and fire. Just when otherwise, rest assured, I'll find a way to collect the debt. Can we talk about the... For the, Natlan. The thing Capitano mentioned, the... what was owed. Please. Who is here? So, she's gonna <gasps> head 500 years in the future uh, to serve as the Pyro Archon again? Oh. Uh, hold on. You're gonna head 500 years in the future to serve as the Pyro Archon again? Um. But what about the you from right now? You're just gonna die? You can't ask her those questions and expect her to answer, my dear. The decision is hers to make, and she deserves our support. Those are really cool NPCs. We will do everything we can to rebuild the tribes. Don't you worry. Even across time, we will all do our part to fight for Natlan's future. Yeah, Mom's Aww. right. We'll always believe in you, sis. No, seriously, though. Dad should be here. Where is he? I, I imagine he... He didn't know what to say, so Damn. he chose not to come at all. Don't take it to heart, my dear. That's just who he is. Just remember, no matter what happens in the future, we will always love you. Damn. Damn. That might have been the last. Oh God, might have. I'll she come find you one day. Word. I know I can't live that long, but I'll think of something. Oh man. Oh, there has to be a way for us to meet again one day. If there's an answer out there somewhere, I'm gonna find it. So, don't forget about me. Damn, dude. Oh, this is horrible. It hurts. If that's your decision, that's your you dad. have my full support, Archon. Right? Oh no, this is people. To see such a lovely son. For Natlan! 
No one fights alone. The rules are my legacy. They shall grant us the strength to overcome the next tragedy. Just let me just yoink this really quick. Thank you. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. War forged the six tribes, taught us how to fight, instilled in us what it means to love. Who will be the one to bring this to the an end? end? We are the inheritors of memory and legend. Those who grew alongside sun and wind. Those who forged our own destiny and future. That is Natland's fire. The lifeblood of our nation. What is this, bro? Armage. Well, that was jarring. Huh. Where the hell am I going? The wind rises. Hey, Kuichi! You here for the victory feast too? Oh no, I, I knew Chaska would be here, so I just came to deliver some medicine. But, uh, it's not that I don't want to celebrate Katina and the others. I'm so glad she made it back. It's ah, well, you two had a fight, so Paimon can understand. She didn't cause any trouble during no, the trip. No, it was right? fine. Yeah, she was super helpful. She gave us a lot of useful information about the abyss. This is true. That's good. Is there a reason you asked? You were pretty outspoken when we first met, but now- uh, Maybe it seemed unreasonable, picking that fight with her before you left, but her impulse to fight is extremely strong. Her mental strength helps her rein it in, but she still loses control sometimes. So, what you're saying is- You deliberately provoke her so she'd take that impulse out on you. Okay, so maybe it sounds a little stupid. It does. <laughs> but it works pretty well. Anyway. I'm just glad you were able to make it back safe and sound. That's all I wanted. What? Do you really have to go that far? Can't you just talk it out? Apparently not. No way. Chaska never opens up about her own pain, especially to her family. I appreciate the understanding, and don't worry. I'll find a way to help her ease this burden. Anyway, I need to get going. Oh, and if you ever need a doctor, you know who to find. Huh. Okay. Who would have thought there was a deeper reason behind their arguing? Trying, trying to look out for each other, yeah. In the end, it's all the abyss's fault. True. Paimon's had enough of them. Real. Real intro, Paimon. I really need to end, like, now. Oh my god, Rex is back. Rex hitting the gritty, no way. Two pack bag. Let's give a huge round of applause to our brave young warrior, Kachina! The goat. Woohoo! Well done, Kachina. Oh, now you'll cheer for her. <gasps> Thank you, Hi, everyone. Can... I always knew you could do it. With so much potential at your age, you have a great future ahead of you. You're one to talk. Don't <laughs> think I didn't know you were the first person to abandon your team. Oh, I'll be I, I had no choice. My friend invited me. I... Oh, really? So you weren't just trying to get ahead in the Giggle. first round? I wasn't, I swear. I just happened to find that bearer injured in the wild. When he insisted on repaying the favor, what was I supposed to do? I but the fact of the matter is that after your departure, everyone else started thinking <laughs> about swapping teams too. I'm really sorry, Kachina. It was wrong of us to abandon you like that. Giggle. It's amazing that you still made it all the way through to the Night Warden Wars. So, uh, what about you guys? Did you make it far? Probably not. Um... Our team captain drank too much the night before the competition and turned up late to the stadium on the day. Bozos. <laughs> Serves you all right. True. No sympathy for me. Real. All right, all right. There's no need to be like that, Uncle Pakal. Um, 
dear friends. Firstly, I'm grateful to my friends and our great Archon for helping to bring me back. This traveler and her companion Paimon are some of the strongest people I've ever met. If they were allowed to participate <laughs> in the pilgrimage, I have no doubt that they'd win the whole thing. They've agreed to let me learn from them. With their help, I believe I can become even stronger still. Oh, I love her. I must her. not forget my good friends. Moalani, Chaska, Kanich, and Dionsan. They all helped the Traveler and Paimon figure out a way to bring me back from the Night Kingdom. They too deserve to be called our heroes. So, Aww. please... Well said! I'll drink to that. <laughs> How does it feel being a hero, Kachina? To be honest, it's a bit overwhelming. Aww. Well, you better get used to it! Next step, I'm Undefeated the champion. Hey, please don't... She's so cute. Oh, look at them all. That's so sweet. Ah, oh, you're here. Have some fruit juice. I got it specially for you two. <laughs> you look like you've still got questions. Uh, Ask away. Yes, please. They had their own lives to live. The thought of telling them, abandon your families and everyone you love, and come with me to the end of time. For in 500 years, Natlan will be destroyed. It seemed too cruel. I guess so, yeah. You could just as easily point out that everything in this world would come to an end eventually. Imagine if I said, let's leave right now and go save the sun because it'll flame out in a few million years. It would sound quite ridiculous. Yeah. I couldn't make them shoulder that burden with me. Besides, every generation will have its heroes, this one included, or of course, without me. But since I was the one who came up with the plan, I felt duty-bound to see it through to the end. Paimon suddenly remembering that portrait in your room. Was that your family from back then? Yes, it was. So when you ask me who my sister grew up to be, the truth is that very little information survives. Yeah. From what I've been able to piece together, I can conclude with a reasonable degree of confidence that she ended up as an architect and artist. Mm. She played an instrumental role in rebuilding the scions of the Canopy tribe, designing and building many houses. Still, it was an impressive achievement, and I'm very proud so of her. So that's why we had to leave behind, yeah. You feel lost keenly. It seems to stir up feelings of regret in you. Um. But this is something I have long since come to terms with. This is a war, and there can be no war without loss. I am already far more fortunate than those who lost their lives to the Abyss. The people of Natlan look to me as their Archon, and the weight of their expectations is mine to bear. I must see our fate through to the very end, no matter what I may find there. There's actually what I wanted to ask you, if you're already aware of fate... Yeah! Doesn't that mean the way everything ends has already been written, uh, yeah. including your plan? I suppose, but so what? Don't forget, time takes many forms. The past, present, and future hmm. coexist. Even if the future ends in destruction, there's still no reason to give up on the here and now. And it's precisely because we humans cannot know our fate that we will never give up on our struggle. This is a pivotal moment. We are still two heroes short. Well, three, to be precise. There's one further hero <laughs> who I'm hoping to get on my side. Whatever it takes. Classic. Your of resistance course. to the corrupting power of the Abyss is truly remarkable. It would easily make you an all-important figure in the upcoming battle. If you agree to join us, you will not only gain my full support in your journey, but I will also forge a brand new ancient name for you. I'm guessing that ancient name is gonna be the title we get in Natlan. Since we have, you know, Captain of Swordfish 2, the Executioner, or Executor, sorry, the Ordinary Knight. Ancient names can be forged? They can. Several strict conditions must be met, but if they couldn't be forged at all, then the number of them in circulation would have long dwindled to zero. Possessing an ancient name would mean that your adventures in Natlan are recorded <gasps> in full. Wait! Your stories would be remembered by our people for Wait. all the years to come. 
What if that's getting our ancient name is how we get the pyro element? The <gasps> Odo Resurrection may have temporarily lost its power, but still, take this as my personal guarantee that I shall never let you fall. Just like in the Night Kingdom, I will be there for you. That is a promise I will fulfill at all costs. This nation always honors its heroes. I do just want to help out the people. Yeah, we can't just ignore the situation here. Yeah. Wonderful. Then I'll reach out to Shilonen right away. <gasps> She's the one who will forge the name. Rex, we're gonna go meet Shilo next. We've never forged an ancient name for an outlander before, but I trust she'll find a way. <laughs> Tee -hee. That Lord, we've received word that the Pyro Archon has lost much of her power. How did you get word of this? Although your injury complicates things, this is most certainly the opportune mm. time to seize the Gnosis. <laughs> Victory and defeat are rules, not outcomes. I have never taken advantage of an opponent in a time of weakness, and I don't intend to start now. I knew he was going to be like a super honorable man. Like he, he could go and take advantage of this, but he is not because he like he honors like a fight with someone at their full strength, not when they're weak. That's huge, I love that. As for you, I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long <gasps> as the sun Wait. remains, we can uh, not turn day into night. She could have dispelled it. Of course! She simply chose not to. The traitor! <sighs> you don't have it's much him. time. And you're injured on top of that. What do you- I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You heard something from here, didn't you? Show me him. Oh, you suck. That was... A... We got another one. We got another one. That is one billion percent Oleron or Oleron or however the actual name is. I don't know anymore. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, should be here. We have two now. Um, that was really good. Handle it. Maybe that's their problem. I like that a lot. That was a really good first two acts. Lots of setup, but that's typical of the first acts of a new nation. So I'm not gonna treat too harshly. But um, that is gonna be it for me. I do gotta end. I do gotta go, bitch, because I'm very tired. But that was absolutely amazing. So I'm just gonna end stream here too. That was really good. There's no need to exchange pleasant. Yeah. That was really really good. Solid eight probably out of ten.